start of the unboxing and after that installation and testing of the Relight Nova system. So these are contactless rim dynamos. They work by eddy currents induced in the aluminium, which rotating magnets or moving magnets induce. <coughs> and by that same, uh, from the results, they actually give a force on those same magnets. So a magnet moving along aluminium produces a force on the aluminium or on the magnet itself, actually both. So let's have a look. This is the tail lamp. Let's see. Tail lamp. Cable. cable looks nice and supple. This, this is okay. I like that. Okay, these are the the orange is the that protects the system from water getting in. I don't know why these have tie wraps. I thought it was some kind of system that you tighten. Let's, let's see what else is in here. Wait a minute, I need to put this. Interestingly, uh, Relight like has used wrapping paper as the instructions. That's pretty, pretty cool. I'm not so impressed by the tie wraps for the front lamp. I mean, I much more liked what I saw in the on the website. Hmm. Let me recheck that a bit later. So this is very low weight. Looks nice. Connector goes here. It's a pretty short cable, so this is a problem. If I want going because I'm not going to be able to mount the dynamo on the Seat stay only on the chain stay because I have a frame lock and rim brakes. So I need to check how much the rubber needs to be no longer visible, then it's pushed in far enough. So that's good. Okay, front lamp should be the same. Almost the same. You can see there's a clear lens, whereas with the tail lamp it's frosted. It would be nicer if the frosted area was actually this entire area. It would be a more would mean a large illuminated surface. But I'll see how it works. Check out the weight a bit later. 
Okay, let's check a dynamo. Okay, and it's just a filler, so the made box is all the same size, that's okay. So here we have the dynamo, it's not lightweight, I mean probably 100 grams or something like that. Let me check that a bit later. And key. It's nice because it's let it stick, but it's an inner hex key so don't really need that if you already have them. Uh, this is some kind of steel wire it looks like, pretty stiff, and here you tension it, okay, first I'll go measure the weight mass of the lamps in the dynamo and then I will install it and see how it goes. So I made a mistake of course with the lamps that they are rubber band or tie wrap mounted. There is a second type of tail lamp and rear lamp that Relight makes. And these are mounted on the front rack or basket and the tail at the, at the rear the rear rack. Um, so these those come with uh, Something like this similar. And these are rubber bound, band mounted, which is okay. I mean, they weigh very little. Let's see what the weight is of the dynamo. 85, 84 grams, 83. So that's what I estimated. Almost exact, almost what I estimated. Front lap is 24 gram. Uh, let's remove the cable. Uh, no, I'll do it with cable. Tail lamp with cable, 31 gram. And let's check what the loose cable is. Probably 7 gram. Let's see. Probably 7 or so. Yeah, seven. So this is also 31 total. Yep, yeah, exactly. So there are two. Yeah, that's logical. The head tube is uh, usually bigger. So there are two rubber bands for the front lamp. Okay, then it's on to mounting. That comes next. Okay, small addition. So for this to mount, you can use the key with the dynamo, the inner hex key. And total weight with the mount and rubber band, 39 gram. So that's, that's not much. Let's continue now with mounting. So this flat part with this symbol, this round symbol, needs to go towards the rim of the bike. And that comes next.